Hi, my name is Tom Rhodes and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. This is my second video blog posting and it's one that I'm very passionate about. Um, there's all different names or phrases we could put to it. Um, but it's what I'm most passionate about as a human being as well as in my role as a psychotherapist, which is of course infused with my humanness. And by humanness, I guess, to get to the point of this video blog, uh, the terms body, mind, spirit come to mind, as well as integrative psychotherapy, integrative living. And those to me are the same thing. They're just words, but what I want to explore today is what they point to. And the lived experience of embodying and living that which we are, which we can put a million names to. Um, so I want to unpack a little bit of what I mean by body, mind, spirit, and by integrative psychotherapy. Um, my work as a therapist is to connect with you where you are, with your quote unquote presenting issues, uh, presenting problems, etc., of living, often that include relationships and usually that include relationship with oneself. That's where the mind and body first come in. And so by mind, um, in terms of what's apropos to what I'm exploring today in the psycho-spiritual realm, mind is um, the thoughts, the beliefs, the thoughts we're believing about ourself based on way back when things we internalized way before we could even talk usually um, or even walk. Um, so we, we swallowed these whole before our cognitive ability to discern came online. And a lot of these beliefs are, are older than we can actually remember. So they're so ingrained in our relationship with ourself and thus mirrored out our relationship with life and those that we're attracted to and that come into our world, it um, literally colors how we feel. And that's where the body comes in, actually. A spiritual teacher of mine uh, worded it such, and it really resonates with me, that our feelings are actually like copies of thoughts we're believing um, about ourselves or about life. So for example, a core belief might be I'm worthless. Um, and the feeling um, attached to that lives in here, neck down above the waist in our feeling body. And so let's say it's shame. Shame is a feeling that we all know that can be very painful and just kind of a caved in heavy um, feeling. And that's sort of so the belief, I'm worthless, gets copied in the body as shame, for example. And it's part of our lived experience when those buttons get pressed, right? Some situation you're in, um, an intimate relationship or a higher up at work or a clerk at a store, whoever it is, or a father or a child, something, someone triggers this core belief. I'm worthless, for example. And largely, often, usually, it's not even conscious. So we're believing that we're worthless. We're not even aware of what we're believing. And we feel the felt sense of that, which is shame. And so part of my job here, part of my what I moved to do here and my job as a psychotherapist is to get really curious with a client um, about what's actually happening. So what are you believing and what does it feel like in your body? And what would it be like to open to that with the support of this human being here that uh, hopefully by that point there's been some trust built up and together in a safe place um, with safety and trust built up in this therapeutic relationship, we explore together that, and we actually meet it head on, 
So we use the, the core belief as an entry point and then follow the stream of the feeling body, name it, um, and then we take the story off for a moment. Of course, it can always come back. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, but so we take the story off. For example, I'm worthless. And maybe we've already unpacked what triggered that and some storyline. And so then we dive in to the felt sense of shame. And we even take that name off. This is kind of like peeling the onion, right? And so we take the story off, I'm worthless. Then we take the word shame off. We've named it. Then we meet the core physical sensate experience in the body. So often when I'm connecting with clients in this place, I actually feel some of that felt sense myself. Um, so it's just part of connecting. I'm sure it happens for you sometimes. Um, you may or may not be aware of it. It's part of just being um, being an empathy, you know, connecting with somebody else, feeling what it might be like or is like to be in their shoes. So shame is present. We take that off and dive into the core of the physical sensation of that. So this is body mind, right? Mind body, um, and then. It's almost like you, and this is die in a good sense, we die to the experience. In other words, surrender 100%. 98% uh, is a very different experience than surrendering 100%. 100% surrender is the most life-affirming, enlivening experience I've, I've had. Um, and I, that I personally think a human being can have to actually surrender completely to what is, um, it's, it's connecting. It's not waving the white flag surrender. It's a deeply connecting surrender. Um, it's actually, I think, largely surrendering to this most deep, vast, warm, loving, and alive place in us. Uh, we put words to it. Let's call it presence. Um, it's sort of the, the, um, it's what's implied in mindfulness, mindfulness practice, quote unquote, right? So mind, body, this is where the spirit comes in. Spirit is a name put to the mindfulness, um, the both fullness and there's actually an emptiness. It's, it feels like an emptiness that is not actually empty. It's, it's so vast. Emptiness is often a word that is used to speak to it, to put words to it, but it's actually full of what we are. And so this is the mind, body, spirit way of working. Integrative psychotherapy is actually engaging these parts. It's almost like diving deeper, deeper, deeper. Right, the mind is the surface waves, and the body is a bit deeper, right? It's sort of like the, the feeling, the feeling realm. It's a little closer. And what's so close, we usually miss it, is this raw, alive presence. And it's the only thing in my experience that can actually meet um, these feelings, these often incredibly vulnerable incredibly painful um, feelings. And so part of my job is to, in a way, model that for a client sitting with me, to um, be in that place of total openness to feeling, feeling feelings directly. And there's a pace to that. It's not something we do from the get-go, boom, boom. Let's feel stuff 100% <laughs> surrender. No, there's a pace to it. And um, like any relationship, it takes time to build trust. But this is the trajectory of um, how I practice mind, body, spirit, or integrative psychotherapy. And it's incredibly enlivening and liberating when we 
experience um, alone or with another together diving into the core of deep pain and actually finding out the, what, what it's like to live out real time and be the only thing that can actually meet this. And the good news is that this is what you are. And there is only one way to find out is to re-experience this healing within yourself and in relationship with um, a psychotherapist that you trust, that you feel um, some sense of safety and connection with. Over time that grows and um, there's a great gift um, at the core of these painful feelings and it's actually your own heart. And my wish through this video blog or in sessions with my clients um, is to bring about a space and a place where that um, can happen. Um, and it often happens when we're in some kind of crisis that brings us in to seek therapist um, or in a, what could feel like a crisis in a given moment, sitting in a chair uh, with a therapist and being um, overcome with pain and finding out what it's like to dive into that pain and see what it's made of. Uh, you might be surprised, or you may have already had this experience of uh, finding out the, the, the essence of these little pockets in ourself and our body um, that we've cast off. And to move towards wholeness is to infuse these little pockets of crimped off energy or um, probably heard them referred to as child parts. Experiences we had um, way back when that were overwhelming, um, sometimes just not okay. And the only way we could survive that emotionally uh, was to just go away. So with um, certain feelings, you know, with sort of more traumatic experience, um, it can take real time and real trust building and real skill to go in there with you and um, show up in a way that is uh, healing. So that's all I have for today uh, to speak to you about mind, body, spirit, psychotherapy, or integrative psychotherapy. Um, I hope this has been helpful in some way, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.